Hi, Jason Church, National Trainer with Unico. In this segment, we're going to be troubleshooting the EC motor and the EC board to determine which is the failure, why the motor won't engage. The first thing you want to do is to disconnect power and reach in and spin the blower wheel just to ensure that the motor spins freely. So after ensuring that your motor does spin free, the first test we're going to do on the board is we're going to check between the blue wire and the black wire in this connector. So between this blue wire and this black wire, we should have 30 volts DC. Then we're going to check the yellow and the orange. When we check the yellow and the orange, we should have 0 to 5 volts DC. Now if you don't have these values, replace the board. Now our next troubleshooting step with the EC motor is to disconnect the wiring harness containing the brown wires off of the motor. We're going to check the outer two brown wires for 12 volts DC. If you do not have 12 volts DC here, we need to check the wiring harnesses and connectors back to the USB board and then from the USB board back to the smart control board to ensure it's not just a wiring harness problem. If you find that the wiring harnesses are okay, and you do have 30 volts coming out of the main board, you may want to replace the USB board. The easiest way to determine if your motor is bad is by using this motor tester. This plugs right into the module on the EC motor. It has two wires to go to R and C for 24 volts, and it applies 24 volts for a test spin. So all you have to do Alligator clips go on R and C, you plug in the tester into the motor, you turn the tester on, and within a few seconds, it's going to make the motor go into a test spin. Now if the motor runs, then we know the motor is good, replace the board. If you don't have a motor tester, then we can apply 24 volts manually to the motor to force it to go into a test spin. To force the motor into a test spin manually, unplug the wiring harness with the brown wires. Look at this end, and there's numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 labeling the wires. Find wires number 1 and number 3. Apply 24 volts to these wires. As this is plugged in, the motor goes into a test spin. If the motor does not spin, replace the motor. If the motor does spin, then replace the board. There you have it, just a few short steps to determine if you have a bad motor or if you've got a bad circuit board. So if you need any other help, you give us a call at 800-527-0896 or visit our website at tech.unicosystem.com. Thank you, my name is Jason Church, National Train with Unico. For more information, check out our technical site at tech.unicosystem.com. Also, look us up on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to talk to a live person, call our customer service team at 800-527-0896, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. through 5 p.m. Central Time.